My Hero Ultra Rumble is coming out really soon, September 28th. It's dropping globally on PlayStation, Xbox, Switch and PC. And so we've got a video for you with everything you need to know before you pick the game up. It will be free to play, so if you really just want to go for it, you can just download and boot it up. But since I've been lucky enough to have played the game in three different betas, I've got some tips for you before you jump in so you can start getting those wins very early on. So this is, at its core, a battle royale game, like many you've seen before. However, it has some things that it does differently. First of all, it's a bit smaller than you might be used to, with a maximum of 24 players per match divided into teams of 3 players each. This means a maximum of 8 teams will drop into this map and try to survive over time as the circle gets smaller and smaller. Before you jump into a game though, you'll have to pick a character. This is a battle royale where you play as one of the My Hero Academia heroes or villains, all of them with a unique moveset that includes 3 different quirks and some unique gimmicks, but every character can run around, jump, and even climb every surface on the map. Some characters can do it faster than others, but climbing up walls is a universal ability. The early game in Ultra Rumble is usually all about looting cards to level up your quirks, or looting these vials that restore your shields or your health. You can do this by opening chests, and the bigger the chest, the better quality items you'll get, or by rescuing civilians. Unless you're a villain, in that case, you're gonna be scaring them away. Not every card that levels up your quirks is the same. You've got level up cards which let you choose which quirk you want to level up, but sometimes a quirk will simply level up automatically as you pick up a card that is the same type as your character. For instance, if you're an assault character, any assault card, that is Kendo, All Might or Kirishima cards, will automatically level up your own quirks. Which quirk it levels up? It's gonna depend on the card that you picked up. But because this is a team game, it's always good to keep an eye out for your teammates' types. And if you pick up an item that they could use, like a level up card, make sure to drop it next to them or ping it so they know where they can find it. Some characters even specialize in movement and can help others with not so fast mobility loot much faster in the early phases. If a card is not your type or your teammates, it can still be useful if equipped on the passive slot. This becomes a buff that you activate with the press of a button and can give you an edge in battle. The strike buff gives you an attack power up, assault gives you defense, technical gives you quirk cooldown reduction, rapid gives you movement speed and support restores the HP of you and the allies around you. And these buffs become stronger the higher level card you have equipped, so don't forget to pop those buffs before you start a fight. It could really make a difference. Health and shields, or guard points as they call them in game, are pretty straightforward. Different characters can have different amounts of health, but healing works the same for everyone. And if you lose any HP or guard points, you can restore them with the green and blue vials. But there are many different types of vials that you will need to identify in a split second, so we've got a quick breakdown and visual guide for you. The small bottles will restore a small amount of HP or guard points, the big round bottles will fully restore your HP or guard points. And the square bottles don't restore as much HP or guard points, but they do it for all of your allies. The best bottles, however, are these two. This one restores both HP and guard points to every single ally. If you have this, you are basically your party's healer. And then this bottle increases the quirks of every single ally by one level. But this is a pretty rare bottle. You can only get it if you find Kota, who is usually hiding somewhere very random. A bigger bottle isn't always better though, as bigger vials take longer to drink and it might be hard to do so in the middle of battle. So that's something to keep in mind when managing your inventory. So far so good? Great. Let's talk about a mechanic that is very common in battle royales, but My Hero Ultra Rumble does things a little bit different. In this game, your character can be in one of three states. Usually, you want to be alive and well, running around and attacking your enemies, but if your health goes down to zero, you will be in a down state, where all you can do is crawl around. And if an enemy finishes you off, you'll be knocked out, which is our third stage. Now, being knocked out doesn't mean the game is over for you, if your teammates can grab your player token and get a full revive card, they can bring you back to life, but the most unique state in this game is actually the one in the middle, the down state. Next to your health, you'll see a countdown, and this countdown is actually good for you, because if no one finishes you off, you will revive yourself after 20 seconds, which is why it's so important to finish off opponents whenever you're battling them. The timer is frozen every time you take damage, so if you see someone crawling around, it might be worth it to throw a couple of projectiles their way, but if you get in close, you can actually do a finishing move, which is a little bit slow, but if you pull it off, your shield will be fully refilled. So yeah, that's something to keep in mind in Ultra Rumble. The battle isn't over once you down an enemy, because if you leave them alone, they will pick themselves back up. 
Let's close this video out by talking about characters. At launch, there will be 18 characters for you to choose from, but only some of them are unlocked from the start. To unlock more characters, you must find character tickets in this game's gotcha system. The good news is, if you get a character ticket, you can actually choose which character to unlock. The bad news is, the character tickets themselves are random, and you are not guaranteed to get them. Each character is incredibly unique, they all have their own quirks of course, but even the way they jump, run, climb, and their auto attacks are different. All of this put together makes a character character's moveset and gives them their own unique strengths and weaknesses, so you can get an idea of how they play based on their character type. We've talked about these five different types when we looked at the player cards, so you're probably familiar with them at this point, but in general, strike characters can deal big damage. Assault characters usually have armored moves. Technical are just very different and unique even amongst themselves. Rapid usually have some kind of movement ability, and support can usually buff or heal teammates. And their types aren't just for show, each one of them comes with a passive buff for their entire team, except the supports. Supports don't really have a team buff for some reason, but these buffs do stack up if you have multiple of the same type on your squad. Don't forget that that also comes with a downside though, because once you're in game, you're gonna need to split your cards with your teammates since you're both using the same type to level up. If things go south, do not panic, this game has a comeback mechanic, plus ultra. Once that bar at the bottom becomes full, you'll instantly refill your entire shield and your quirks will temporarily go beyond level 9. This can help you survive an encounter, but do be careful because even if it can help you in battle, it does not make you overpowered. A full team of three people will completely melt through a shield, plus ultra does not make you god. The bar mostly fills up once your teammates go down, which is why this is pretty much a comeback mechanic. If everyone is alive and well, you have strength in numbers, if not, plus ultra might be there to save you. And that is everything you need to know about My Hero Ultra Rumble. You are now ready to download, play the game and get some early Ws. And for more My Hero Ultra Rumble, check out the latest gameplay from the most recent beta. Thank you so much for watching, boy!